is Andrew Firth and I own a sensor. We're a digital agency based in Leeds. So, Andrew, obviously, the recent news is that Elon Musk has now announced that he is going to leave Twitter or at least begin the process of leaving Twitter. So what do you think this means overall for the social media platform? I think it'll probably benefit the platform in the fact that uh, Elon Musk is one of these people that believes that there's no such thing as bad PR. But I think there's been so many bad things um, have happened since he's taken over Twitter, such as, you know, the ways he's let people go, for instance, you know, none of these things would be uh, permitted in the UK. So I think in terms of um, Twitter as a platform and, and Twitter uh, as an employer and, and employees will probably benefit with with him not being there from an, so there's no none of this sort of knee jerk stuff. Um, uh, you know, he's still ultimately going to be the owner of the platform, so uh, he'll have a management team, and and and, and I'm sure the the platform will continue uh, and 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 probably be better off. So, looking at the poll then that he put out, Andrew, it was basically I will abide by the the, the outcome of this vote, yes or no, if you think I should leave, and 57 percent of 17 million people voted yes. Why do you think so many wanted him to go? It's actually quite interesting because I've read today that he was um, doing the. He said he was doing the poll as some sort of a honeypot uh, to to sort of entice bot traffic. Uh, as a digital marketing agency, we're constantly monitoring bot traffic, uh, and um, you know it, it, it was just strange that he would he would come out and say that. Um, you sort of, I think, with Elon Musk, you never really know know what to believe. Uh, I think he was calling people's bluff. It reminds me a little bit of Brexit, if you like, where you you know you put something out there and you get something that you don't necessarily expect, but then you've you've really got to go through with it. Um, it was quite interesting that there were actually more people that liked the post that he put out that actually voted for him to stay. Um, but I guess that could be quite a few people um, liking the fact he was putting it to vote and then voting him out. So do you think then, Andrew, that this overall is like a statement of how powerful social media can be? You know, we're seeing someone potentially coming into the social media space who doesn't really know what they're doing. Do you think that this will will almost act as a precedent of, you know, you can't get away with coming in somewhere and just sort of bolstering your way in and pretending as if you know what, what you're doing? Uh, I think I probably have to disagree with that statement. I mean, I think Elon Musk, um, with his... Uh, sort of, I guess, business um, history, his entrepreneurial career. You know, I think he's he's probably perfectly qualified to uh, run Twitter and own Twitter. I think he, um, uh, you know, he uh, it's obviously one of his favourite channels. You know, some look at some of the things he's done using Twitter, which have, you know, for instance, driven up the price of of Dogecoin and and all, all sorts of stuff around crypto. And so, you know, he's obviously a, an avid user of the platform. He had a lot to say around. Um, Donald Trump's account being suspended and and all of that sort of stuff. So, um, you know, I think he um, is is you know he he he's definitely you know I feel like you can't as a business owner you can't sort of sell anything that you're not using yourself or really passionate about. And he's clearly that. And I think he's you know he's had enough success. You know, I think he's the richest man in the world. He's had enough success in business to to be qualified to 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 run a social media platform. I just don't think he's done a very good job of it so far. No, so that's an that's an interesting point to be fair. And looking at sort of his running of of Twitter a little bit a little bit closer, the EU has said that there is obviously a law in place that protects media freedom. Yet Elon Musk has famously removed or blocked accounts that question or criticize what he's done, um, not only at Twitter but also in his other endeavors. Do you think that's a little bit hypocritical on Elon Musk's side if he's such an advocate for free speech and and you know media freedom, yet? is happy to block or get rid of those people that don't think like he does. Yeah, totally. I don't think I've got anything more to add there. I mean, you cannot have, um, you know, your cake and eat it sort of thing. And that's what he's trying to do. Uh, but, you know, it's it, it, like I come back to that same point around there's no such thing as bad PR as far as he's concerned. I think the biggest thing for me in business is to be authentic and, you know, you, you can smell lack of authenticity a mile off. So um, I don't know whether... Um, Elon Musk will suffer from his complete lack of authenticity. Um, the way that you know businesses that you know on the, on a smaller local level um, probably will do. But yeah, it's completely hypocritical. You ca you can't have your cake and eat it. 
Yeah, so looking at these new rules, and again, as I've said, he's been, you know, removing people that don't agree with him. He's obviously brought in this new rule of you have to pay for verification and change the way that we see verification as users. If Mr. Musk does leave, and again, we'll assume that he's that he's going to and he's going to abide by the, the laws of the poll, let's say, will these rules still stand? Or is there sort of a grey area with, well, because he's left, where does this sort of leave Twitter in that transition period like i say you know he's 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 the owner he's the figurehead um but he will have a management team in place so i would expect twitter to be probably better off uh, without him based on where we've got to now you know you can't you can't um open yourself up to public vote and then um not you know go ahead with the the result of that so um obviously he's decided he's going to go uh so, so yeah yeah, no, that's that's fair enough. It is sort of one of those situations where he said he's going to leave. It is just a case of sort of waiting to see what happens next. And that leads me perfectly on to, to the final question, Andrew, of let's again assume that he is in the process or at least will begin that process of leaving. What will happen or what is going to happen next, do you think, in your professional opinion? Well, I, I think for me, um, it'll probably be quite a relief for for the for the, the team that are running Twitter and the, the people that are left there that you know they can maybe start to go back to um, but, but get back to normal. I think for the for the average person using Twitter, I don't think that um, you know it, none of this will will ultimately make a difference. I think looking at the impact that um, that has been had on like for instance the SpaceX and the Tesla share price since um since all of this debacle um started and has, has continued um you know i think i think there'll be a lot of people um connected to Elon Musk in all sorts of ways that will probably be glad that he uh, that he goes and, and i think twitter will be stronger as a, as a result